Well, this is good news for fans of Spider-Man and all the characters in his universe, as this year we're getting Morbius and Venom, and 2021 is going to be another stellar year, with Spider-Man 3 closing up Spider-Man's chapter in the MCU for his solo outings, Sony has gone ahead and announced a brand new date for October of 2021. So we've known for quite a while that Sony has been looking to try to pull a Marvel Studios and a DC Universe film style of schedule, where they would start with at least one a year and hopefully move two to three. Now of course this year, as I said in the beginning, Morbius and Venom or Venom 2, I should say, are really going to show if they can pull it off. Now, come next year, we of course have another entry in the MCU with Spider-Man 3, whatever that ends up being called. And now it is being confirmed that on October 8th of 2021, so a handful of months after Spider-Man 3, we are getting another Sony Marvel Spider-Man film. Now, keep in mind that this could be anything. It could be from another complete Spider-Man reboot to another Venom to Morbius 2, if they want to, you know, fast track that to any number of characters that they've had in development from Kraven the Hunter to the Mysterio standalone film, which was in some form of development to Silver Sable or Black Cat. All of these are a possibility. Now, it should be noted that once again, this film is not in connection to Marvel Studios Disney. This is a Sony film, so more than likely it is set in whatever universe that they have, which is quote unquote adjacent to the MCU. And obviously this year is going to really be a showing of what direction, you know, these standalone films are going in and how much do they actually connect to everything. But nonetheless, 2021 looks to be another stellar year, and obviously this isn't just for Sony or Spider-Man, it's for comic book films as a whole, considering right now we're sitting at about 10 releases that year, so it's going to be pretty incredible to see what's coming at us.